Hi there and welcome to Dino's Vault once again guys today I'm checking out the Indian lineup of motorcycles that were launched here in Hyderabad a couple of uh, weeks back the Indian brand carries the American DNA right to the core as it happens to be the first American motorcycle company to be established way back in 1901, even before Harley Davidson was found. I guess uh, that happened in 1903. The name itself is derived from the Red Indian tribes who were natives of the American lands before uh, being occupied by the migrating Europeans, which is why we see the tribal chief's image as the uh, brand logo. The Indian brand was founded by Mr. George Hendy as a cycle company in 1897. Mr. Hendy Andy, who was a bicycle racing champion at that point in time, hired Mr. Oscar Hedstrom, who built their first motorized bike in 1901. The Indian factory racing team also went on to secure first three places in the 1911 Isle of Man. And in Indian motorcycles, as a brand, have had their shares a uh, share of ups and downs in their centennial journey. But uh, throughout all of this, what remains unshaken is the sheer majesty and the outstanding legacy of a brand that has been associated with pride power and prestige. The lineup, though modernized to suit the current generation, still carries forward the charm of the yesteryears and gives you the feeling that when you own an Indian, you are getting yourself a slice of history. The royal lineage and the rich heritage of this iconic brand can be found in epic proportions in each of the models being offered currently. I couldn't capture all the models in their lineup unfortunately but I have managed to cover all the models on display at the dealership here in Hyderabad. First up we have the chief among the motorcycles worldwide. This my friend is the Indian chief one of the most powerful cruisers on sale currently across the world. It comes powered by an appropriately named Thunderstroke 1811cc 49 degree V twin that produces 139 Newton meters of torque and official power figures are not disclosed so I cannot comment on that but the fit and finish is supreme and the build quality is simply out of this world and even the starting mechanism resembles that of a car you need to carry something called a fob and you get an engine start stop button on board uh, we also get the regulation push button start uh, i mean push start button where we usually find it on bikes but apart from that you get that start stop button on the dash and let's take a listen to how it sounds now and uh, here's the exhaust note Next up we have the dark horse which to me looks really haunting and menacing. It carries more or less the same drivetrain as that of the chief. We get the same Thunderstroke 1811cc 49 degree V twin that puts out a max stock of 138.9 Newton meters at 2600 rpm. And for those who like the things to be dark and stealthy, the dark horse might just be the thing for you. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Batman comes out uh, comes out riding on this one in one of his upcoming movies. It almost feels like an angel of death that's going to hunt you down with its absolute killer looks. And this one too has the same starting mechanism as that of the Chief. And another noteworthy fact is that all the bikes in the Indian lineup come with belt drive mechanism and the advantages that a belt drive mechanism enjoys over the chain drive mechanism is that first of all involves lesser maintenance costs, uh, it lasts longer and it is cleaner because it doesn't require frequent lubrication and it also delivers a smoother ride which is why this type of drivetrain is most commonly used on cruiser motorcycles. Next up we have Indian's most modern motorcycle to date, it's the all new Indian Scout and the the inception of the Scout model dates back all the way to 1920 when it was first introduced and though it has been around uh, over the decades, what we see now is its first complete metamorphosis in its entire lifespan and at the unveil the company officials claimed it to be a potent and precise middleweight cruiser. It gets a light and rigid cast aluminium frame which renders it an absolute delight in terms of handling. Specs aside, just look at it guys, it looks absolutely stunning and gorgeous especially in this matte silver color. Color. Apart from this color, it's also available in matte black, Indian red and glossy black. It comes powered by India, Indian's uh, first ever liquid cooled engine and the drivetrain consists of 1133cc 60 degree V twin that uh, puts out a max power of 100 bhp and a maximum torque of 97.7 Newton meters. Well that's about it for now guys, uh, in the days to come I will be bringing you individual walk around videos of each of these models and if possible also the first tried impression so stay tuned for all the action as it unfolds right here at Dino's Vault. So until next time this is Dino saying ciao, take care, God bless and ride safe.